delighted that he's here. Michael Parenti, a couple of minutes, and then Barbara Dane has arrived, and she will sing some songs for us. I just wanted to say something about violence and the society. I do not believe that violence is just some kind of bad epidemic that has overtaken us. This society is a very highly articulated, structured, and organized society. It is controlled by about a fraction of 1% of the population. They own all the banks, all the factories, all the agribusiness lands, all the media. Their people, their acolytes, they themselves sometimes occupy the positions of Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, CIA Director, uh, Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, and such. If violence was against their interests, violence would be off the media tomorrow. If, if guns was against their interests, guns would be out of circulation tomorrow. They don't mind when people in the inner city are shooting each other, shooting themselves up with needles or shooting each other with guns. The same people that brought in the crack and the cocaine from Latin America and Guatemala, John Hull and, and the CIA, the same people that brought in the heroin from uh, Afghanistan and such, they were the same people that brought the guns into the inner city. You can tell there's not a gun that's ever been manufactured in inner city Detroit or New York or Chicago. They were brought in by somebody. There were, there were actually freight trains near the stockyards where the kids could go over and just pick those guns out themselves. I've seen testimony to this effect. This happened in LA also. Those guns were distributed because they want people shooting each other. They want people at odds with each other. They want people divided by racial, ethnic, lifestyle differences, all these sort of things. If, if those things threatened cap, corporate agribusiness, corporate capitalism, global finance capitalism, if those things threatened them, they would have been moving against them a long time ago, and it wouldn't have had to take brave, small groups of citizens to, to raise their voices to try to stop it. The greatest purveyor of violence in this society are the people who are in government. Take the guns away from the kids. Take the guns away from the grown, rich, white males who run Washington. As Barbara Lubin said, Bill Clinton is the biggest murderer of all and the mass killer. The bombings in Yugoslavia are not because those people are less intelligent than you, because they're so confused, because they don't have your wisdom and insight. They know what they're doing. They know what their interests are. They bomb Yugoslavia because the bombing is working. It is destroying Yugoslavia. It is destroying an alternative socialist system that it once was, a system that had an alternative way of doing things. It's destroying the public health services. It's destroying the public sector. It's destroying their electronic, their energy, their mining and their automotive industries. It's leaving that country depleted so that people will have no social capital, so that they will work at subsistence wages, so they will depress the wages of all the rest of Western Europe. They are furious that they still have to pay a living wage to the working classes of Germany and France and Italy because they're organized. They want other means, they want broader competition, and the more people they can get who are hungry and hungry, who are desperate, who are depleted and divested of every decent thing they ever had, and built for 45 years as they had built in Yugoslavia, the more people they can commit crimes of, of violence against, not only with bombs, with, but with sanctions to destroy their credit systems, to destroy their investment systems, to destroy their public health service systems, as they've done in Iraq, they're doing that in Yugoslavia. It's a very rational system for that 1% up there who are bringing the guns into Kosovo, bringing the guns into Kosovo to the KLA, bringing the guns into Detroit and LA to get the kids to shoot each other up and are bombing and raining death and destruction. And until we finally turn around and understand that it's not a matter only of a lack of goodwill, a lack of insight, but that these people are intent, they're rational, they're ruthless, they're terrible, until we understand that, we might be missing something that's essential. And ours is the voice then, that's when ours becomes the voice of an angry, militant democracy. Thank you. <laughs>